Okay, three things um, that I wanted to discuss. Uh, I thought one would be good to advocate those that um, are on, check with your local utilities. Um, even the gas company possibly might have something they can offer, but the electric company, they um, have this virtual home energy checkup, energy saving kit. It differs if you have electric um, heating versus gas heating. I have gas here. So with gas, um, this I think it's a different kit they sent out than what you just fill out the form online in the survey. Um, this is a little different. I had a schedule to see. This is more regarding insulating the attic. Technically, I need to go up there and measure because they say if it's under four inches, then they might offer, uh, say, if you have limited income, um, they'll have somebody come out and spray in so much insulation. But um, when I talked to them, um, I thought there was more. I need to go up there and take a photo. But um, uh, just to see. Um, but yeah, something like four inches they recommend. They, they uh, The gentleman mentioned that uh, putting more in wasn't worth the cost in regards to the return on the investment. But where the return on investment was, surge, pro surge protection, um, to turn off whatever you might have plugged in, uh, and uh, the lighting. So I got what it came here. Three, six, and eight. Eight LED light bulbs and two night lights. Um, when I did this for my mom, I filled it out for my mom. She has electric heating. She got uh, these faucet uh, aerators, uh, shower head aerators. And similar LEDs, I think night lights also. So that's that. I wanted to show that. Um, this was the net, this last free chair I picked up. Um, I had armrests. One of them was chewed on. Um, so I just removed them to fit it in the car, and I figured I don't really need the armrest. And then it looks like the doggy kind of got on this little section here. I'm not sure what to re how I can repair that. That glory looks like fabric. Um, I don't know. If it starts fraying, I could probably take a little torch, a little butane torch, and um, just, you know, melt those those little ends so they don't fray anymore. But I'm thinking I'll just leave it as is unless I recover it. I just don't feel that ambitious with that. Now, this one cleaned up pretty good. This is one I got a while back that was free. Um... This is going to be, this is a project where I've been reading into it again, and it looks like it's an acrylic paint they use that's a acrylic paint dye, um, and then there's another coating you put over this, you know, I think this isn't even leather, but the fake leather, or the, the range of the leather materials that they use. My original thought was I'll just unscrew these sections and then just reupholster uh, you know, maybe use like better, thicker material like leather or something. Um, I don't know, debating. I kind of don't want to use the, the plastic, uh, the acrylic. And at the same time, I do kind of want to try it. The other option would be that uh, marine uh, silicone method. So I could, instead of acrylic paint dye, uh, use uh, silicone paint dye. So... And uh, I think the silicone I'll try outside for a full coating. Um, just like, you know, planning on try a full coating of Plasti Dip. So it seems like the Plasti Dip works great. Um, I think it's better if I did a full coating over the whole seat. So for the outside. And then, uh, again, um, for the seats that aren't damaged, I'll plan on sewing actual seat covers. And eventually, uh, once I get enough material, sew the complete, you know, tractor covers. So I'm going to pause this, and then I'll sh talk about the table. Okay, here's uh, this table, uh, revisiting from the sewing machine, <laughs> uh, uh, actually, and the uh, battery charger starter. Um, I figured this was, I, I wound up adhering this side, and then did a little other work. Um, wound up using those yogurt containers. Actually, there's two more somewhere down here. Um, so I put one, two, three, four. So I peeled this back, and then I used this um, 
Wildwood contact cement and I uh, used a chip uh, brush. Cheap, you know, I don't think I got like a deal 10 or something somewhere, a uh, flea market or wherever it was. Um, where I applied the contact cement on the one side, the wood side, and then on the underside, used those um, yogurt containers to keep uh, the uh, laminate um, up in the air to let that, uh, um, I forget what it is, like a chloroprene, chlor, chloroprene, let's see here, I don't know, it's some kind of, I think it's like a chloroprene, polymer, something like that, Anyways, <laughs> MSCS online. Um, yeah, I'm in six minutes here. So basically, let that sit for maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. And once that got tacky, I lifted up, pulled those yogurt containers out, and then I started on this side with that towel. And really, you can use a heavier duty roller they have for doing this. But I started rubbing in working my way, the, the sides, making sure I got those down really well, and I can still even go back and push those down, but um, working my way from this side over to that end, and um, yeah, got that. So, now I've got that all in, demonstrate how this table There's a latch mechanism, and actually the bottom I needed to do more, but I wound up just take just peeling it off because I'm like, oh, I don't want to really mess with all that stuff. Let's pull this latch, and table now can flip over, and that laminate doesn't come off. So. Um, yeah, that's backside. I don't know. I probably could. I, I might still, if that's a problem, peeling off, add some contact cement. But I want to just, um, when I move this down, breaking off the back bottom side, I figure it's all coated with a sealant enough. So it should be okay. But I thought this would be nice for down here to move to the side wall once I get more, <laughs> yeah, clean up more down here. So, um... Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, cool, free, rescue, reuse, repurpose, you know, or just reuse, technically repair and reuse, so this will be a good work, work table, and then getting, like I said before in the previous video, if you didn't see, check it out, subscribe, you know, hit the like button, um, but adding the, uh, roller swivel casters, and then I put two that are locking on the other side so those are the locking ones over here yeah i thought this is kind of handy for working down here um and then all the other heavier duty tables um or uses benches i'll put uh, the swivel casters on also with two locking ones all right well um just wanted to get that uh in the video and take care be safe and until next time learn something new